so what else? What else do we know need to know about scaling Scrum? Or... Sure. Yeah. So I think um, we covered quite a bit, and I, I would say that there's not one right answer. There's not mm -hmm. one framework that's like this is the absolute best. The framework's not going to do it all for you. Um, mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of there's a lot of hype, you know, right now around the Spotify model. Yeah. And Spotify doesn't even use the Spotify model. They've evolved past that. Um, and there's different spectrums of different scaling frameworks. And yeah. I think when you're going to pick one, pick one knowing what the trade-offs are and what you're optimizing for based off of what you pick. Yeah. Um, I think oftentimes people do tend to go lean a little heavy towards safe. And when I go in there and I look and I'm like, oh, well, you only have 40 people doing the work. Like you really have one product. Like we could put this into five teams over one product backlog. Like this is, you don't need two release trains for this. Like it's, you're just not that big. And, right. um, and so I think sometimes people make their problems harder than they, they need to be. Right. Um, but if that's, if that's where you need to go, then that could be a step in your agile journey. I don't mm -hmm. think you're ever done. I think that you always need to continuously improve and, and try new things. Um, but if I, if I had to say like, there's some rules of thumb, it's cross-functional teams that can solve problems. Mm -hmm. Any problem that comes down on a backlog, one person mm -hmm. that decides the order of that and mm -hmm. then release very frequently and learn from that and have a way to measure that. And so if you're doing those things, I think you're going to find quickly like this, certain things work and certain things don't. Um, if you add delays in your process, if you get further away from your customers, mm -hmm. uh, those are going to be things that slow you down. And they might seem like, oh, we're really efficient right now, but mm -hmm. you're trading off some effectiveness and you're probably yeah. not delivering the value back to your organization. So um, I'd say always keep learning. Always keep reading, listening to podcasts. Like, yeah. There's always so much out there to to absorb, and um, and just and just keep seeking to understand and find better yeah. ways. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. We will sure to come back with more exciting videos on agile topics.